Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this words problem question related to quadratic equation and the question reads a soccer player jumps to kick a ball. When he struck the ball his foot was three feet above the ground. The height in feet after t seconds is given by h of t equal to negative 16 t squared plus 80 t plus 3. How long does it take the ball to reach the maximum height? What is the maximum height reached by the ball? And explain why h of 0 equal to 3 makes sense in the context of this problem. Alright, I think for better understanding, let us make a sketch. So let's assume this is the boy who jumps to kick a ball and this is the ball right here. You should know that if this ball is kicked, it is going to go up, up, it will reach a maximum height and it will drop down, definitely, right? According to the question, it stated that the boy was three feet above the ground when he struck the ball. So let's assume this is the ground level. This is the ground level. He was three feet above. And we're going to call this t instead of x because it is a function of time. And you should know that at some moment, the ball will hit the ground again. Let's go through the question again. The first question here, we are asked to find the time taken for the ball to reach the maximum height. What is the maximum height? This is the maximum height. And the time taken to reach the maximum height will be exactly here. That is what equation of the line of symmetry. So we want to find the value of t at this point. That is the first question. Then the second question, we are asked to find the maximum height the ball reached. The maximum height will be the corresponding value of y, right? But well, this time around, we are going to use h for the height. So the point here, let me draw y axis like this. And this is going to be h, right? So we want to find t at this point, likewise h. And you should know that if you are dealing with quadratic equation, this is nothing but the vertex of that quadratic equation. Therefore, we can transform this equation into a vertex form, take the value of t and h at that point, and we're good to go. All right. We are given that h is equal to negative 16t squared plus 80t, then plus 3. This is the function given to us. We're going to transform it into a vertex form. We have to factor out negative 16 from the first two times so h will be equal to negative 16 outside then inside we will have t squared left and if you take positive 80 and divide by negative 16 you're going to obtain negative 5. we're going to leave a space for a number then bring positive 3 outside all right now we would like to add a number here to make it a perfect square quadratic trinomial. And that number will be what? Negative 5 divided by 2 all squared. Negative 5 is just the coefficient of t. We have to divide it by 2 and square everything. And that will give us what? 25 divided by 4. 25 divided by 4 wasn't there before. Therefore, we are going to neutralize it. And to neutralize it, we are going to take negative 16 and multiply by that term, which is 25 divided by 4. We know that 4 can go into 16 4 times, so we have negative 4 here. Negative 4 multiplied by 25 will give us negative 100. So this means that we have added negative 100. To neutralize it, we are going to add 100. Therefore, negative 100 plus positive 100 will give us zero. So it's like we have not added anything. H is now equal to negative 16 multiplied by, this is now a perfect square quadratic trinomial. To factorize it, you take t without power, then half the coefficient of t, which is negative 5 divided by 2, all squared. Then to the other side, we have 103. All right, now the function is transformed into a vertex form. Let's start with the first question. The first question, we are asked to find the time taken for that ball to reach the maximum height, and it will be equal to this. You just take it and set it to be equal to zero. 
So the first question, you take t minus 5 divided by 2, you set it to be equal to 0. And t will now be equal to 5 divided by 2 seconds. This is the time taken for the ball to reach the maximum height, which is exactly this place, right? So this will be equal to 5 divided by 2 seconds. Then the corresponding value of h will be what? 103 is the maximum height that ball will ever reach. So the b part, h, is equal to 103 feet. Then the last question, it stated that we should explain why h of 0 equal to 3 makes sense in the context of this problem. So I think you can substitute t equal to 0 because here it means when the time is 0 seconds. If you substitute it here, you can see that you will be only left with the constant. That is what? H intercept. But what does this mean? It means that when the time is 0 seconds, the height of the ball was 3 feet. And you can see it according to the picture here. The ball was what? 3 feet before it was kicked. And therefore, you can use your own sentence to explain this in detail. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.